Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you a few things that I got from my local arts shop. Um, so I got one item off AliExpress, which are these water brushes. Uh, they're the ones that you put the water into the barrels uh, and then you squeeze them and the water comes out the tips. Now, a lot of people p um, prefer to buy them from proper art shops or from uh, branded people like you know PBO, Winston Newton, Arteza, that sort of idea because um, of the quality. Now I find these aren't actually that bad. Uh, I know Alex Reese is known for lots of cheap budget materials. Personally I wouldn't buy any normal brushes or any um, paints for that matter or any paper because you can't tell for the quality. But these brushes aren't bad. They've got these beautiful soft um, bristles and they hold plenty of water, plenty of control with the squeezing out of the barrel. Um, you know, you could put inks, whatever you want in these. I really like these, personally. I only use them for watercolour and gouache, for that matter. I wouldn't recommend using them for acrylic at all. Um, because the pigment can get sucked into the barrel and get clogged up. Uh, I did write watercolour onto the package, so I don't get them mixed up with any other brushes. Okay, so now I have some clay. Uh, I love this clay a lot. I got this from Gordon Harris. Now, this wasn't on sale. This is um, in red. I do like red. Um, the different colours can change uh, how hard it is. I found green is really soft, for that matter. So, this is plasticine, and I really do like this stuff a lot. Um, it takes a wee bit to warm up, uh, but it's brilliant because you don't have to bake it it kind of hardens it's not like air dry clay it's plasticine <laughs> all right so here i have a um watercolor block now if i remember correctly this has 50 percent cotton in it um i really love this block it was on sale and i was just so over the moon because i needed more watercolor paper as you always do. You always seem to find yourself running out of that stuff so quick. So, um, I was very happy to see that this was on sale. I normally buy one of these whenever they're on sale. They're just, uh, very good quality. So, I really do like these ones. So I'm just gonna struggle to get it out of the packaging quickly to show you the paper quality. Here we go. There, I am breaking into it. So, I've used these pads quite a lot, and what I found is that they're glued on both sides, like, all the way around. And the first time I got them, I was like, oh my god, what is happening? Why can't I, you know, pull it apart? Um, one of the cautious is, with this, they, the pieces of paper do fully come out. Uh, you can use them like a pad, but I accidentally pulled them on both sides, so those pieces of paper will have to fully come out. Um... But the quality of it, I just it's just to, to die for. I love it so much. Okay, so the next, I have another watercolour sketchbook here. Because I practically filled up my Winston Newton one already. Um, and this is a different brand. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, but uh, the paper has 25% cotton in it, which is a lot less than the last book. But they weren't on sale when I went to get this. And I already had one, so I didn't need another. Um, I found this, um, other sketchbook watercolour book that I wanted so bad, but, like, 40 bucks or something, and that was pretty expensive, and I didn't have that money at that time, so I've got this one, which was $13.50, which wasn't bad at all, and it's a different brand, and I'm pretty excited to try it out, actually. It's got, sorry, I hit the camera there, <laughs> um, it's got these little, um, marks on the side, like, rip marks, in the inside of the book so it's like you could tear the pages out as I will show you. um the paper oh my gosh it isn't really rough but it isn't really smooth it's got some texture to the paper and you can see those little marks down the side to tear it out so I thought I would show you some information that says 25% cotton and then, uh, I'm not sure if it's cold press or hot press. 
I think it might be um, cold press. It's got some texture to the paper. Might be a bit of a mixture. Don't know if you can get that or not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did the challenge of doing a hundred heads, and that filled up my last sketchbook. And now that video was a wee while ago, but only now I've made it to um, the shops to get another sketchbook. So this one's got sixty pages in it. So I was really happy and excited, and then um, as I grabbed the sketchbook, I realised I've had this brand before, because this is the same brand as the watercolour paper, and I was like, oh. <laughs> so, uh, shows I'm not very exhibitive for that, but that's alright. Um, this paper, it's alright, I'm not crazy about it, but um, I was literally just paid for um the watercolour book and um, the clay and I was going to walk out and I was like hold on I need a sketchbook and I just saw that and I was like oh I've had that before so I grabbed it um, and then bought that and then walked out of the shop and then um, realised the paper eh, it's alright it will do it will do um, the paper has a very kind of smooth-ish uh, feeling to it. I do quite like personally a little more roughness. There's a bit of roughness but I like a little more texture just so it grabs onto my um, pencils a bit better. Now as you can see here I just pulled off the sticker off the front cover of the book and I am sticking it into the back of the book. That's because if I want to decorate the cover I don't want that sticker there but if I want to know like oh this has got like 25% cotton in it or like the thickness or the quality of how many pages of the brand I have it in the back of the book so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this mini video it's kind of short kind of longish um, of showing my mini haul of my art supplies please follow me on Instagram at it's busy crafts and I will see you guys next time bye